Um, you also did a Poncho's cheese dip. Yeah, a lot of people <laughs> probably don't know Poncho's. So it's probably Poncho's? the best cheese dip in the world. Probably. And Poncho's, so Poncho's was growing up, I was born right across the river in West Memphis, Arkansas. The home of Ponchos. A long, long time ago. Long, long time ago. <laughs> 1975. That dates me right there. 47 years ago, in fact. Uh, um, but anyway, Ponchos was probably the first restaurant I remember going to as a kid. My parents would take us there on the Friday or Saturday night was the night you went to Ponchos. We didn't know there wasn't like authentic Mexican restaurants around like that. And I don't know how it got started. It's been in Memphis for before my time, probably since the. 50s or 60s. I think it has. Yeah. But they always gave. As soon as you come in Poncho's, and it was this restaurant, it had a dark setting, like candles, you know, like these little jar candles on the tables, no lights on in the place. Yeah. It was ambiance. I mean. 1956. Wow. That's wow. how. That's a Memphis institution. Unfortunately, it's no longer exists. They closed it last year. COVID got them. But they still, they still sell. sell the cheese dip. Yeah. So when you went into Poncho's and you sat down, the waiter or waitress would bring you out a warm basket of tortilla chips wrapped up like in a napkin, like a cloth napkin. And they would bring you a little cup of, of their red salsa and then a little cup of their poncho's cheese dip. And I thought it was the greatest thing. You could just go in there and make a meal off the chips and dip. <laughs> and, and would so, they just keep bringing it to Oh, they would keep bringing it as much as you wanted. <laughs> Every time you ate a, a little cup of it, they'd bring you another one. It was great. You didn't even have to pay for the cheese? No, it was free. <laughs> Whoa. The cheese dip and salsa was free as part of the whole thing. Crazy. Yeah. Poncho's was great. And they ended up having four or five of them in Memphis. Yeah. We had one in South Haven. We moved over to South Haven. They built one. I think they did it because I moved to South Haven. <laughs> I was about 12 years old, and they made a, they built a ponchos over by the mega market. And it was the greatest Mexican restaurant Did y'all there. keep going then? Heck yeah. yeah. Well, they had one downtown. They had one out in summer. They had a little taco shop like Poncho's Express where yeah. you just went and got tacos. They had it going on. It was before its time. And then. I guess the next one I knew was Taco Bell, but it couldn't even hold a candle. This was a, a, a Mexican. To me, I thought it was a Mexican restaurant. Never been to Mexico anywhere. The adults had margaritas. I mean, and, it was kind of a. Kind of. I mean, there wasn't any Mexicans that worked there. As far as I know. <laughs> <laughs> but, but they had a poncho special. It was like taco enchilada. What's the little flat one called? Uh, Chalupa? No. Um, tostada and beans and rice. That was the best meal going. I mean, forever. That's what I thought Mexican food was. When I moved. Then El Charo opened up and put the hurting on. <laughs> yeah. We started getting the real deal stuff, <laughs> yeah. what we thought was the real deal stuff. Um, Changed my Mexican game. Now it's probably, my, besides barbecue, it's my next favorite food group. When we first started dating, uh, you cuisine. you talked you talked ponchos up like really big. I'd never been to a poncho. <laughs> and you were like, we got to go, we got to go, we got to go. I got to take you to ponchos. The original ponchos. The original ponchos. So you did. Uh, yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure like a roach crawled across the table. Uh, it, was bad. it was bad. Like the, the, the waiter was like tweaking. <laughs> yeah, we like Poncho's cheese dip. They just brought out the tub from like Kroger and peeled it open. <laughs> Here's a bag of chips. You got to open the bag yourself. It's like, this is not Poncho. <laughs> what have they done in West Memphis? And you kept trying to make it like, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's, right. We're fine. it's It's going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> and my it. Poncho special was not special at all. <laughs> it was like, it was de- it was like the old uh, El Paso TV dinner ones that you peeled the thing off. And uh, finally, at like, the end of the night, you're like, you're right. This sucks. This sucks. <laughs> Let's go back to La Siesta. <laughs> they had gone downhill. A little Even the margaritas bit. weren't good yeah. anymore. So that, that's why they closed. You know, service went down. But you can still get the cheese dip. I know Sam's cares. So that's it. the whole kicker. Regional. You can still get the cheese dip. They they sold the company, actually, and they sold the okay. rights to their cheese dip. And so they're distributing it nationwide now. And you, pro- you may have seen it. It's usually over in the cheese section of your grocery store. Because um, refri- it's cold. It's yeah, the refrigerator. It's a, yeah. it's a cold cheese dip. I don't think it's ever been cooked. I don't know if they process it like. I don't know. The way I grew up making it now, you know, everybody in West Memphis knew how to make Poncho's cheese dip. And it's just a blended cheese dip. You would use American processed cheese. Um, Velveeta. Velveeta, usually. And it's like you get one pound of Velveeta, cube it up, throw it in the blender, one can of original Rotel, um, and dump that in the blender. And you had to have the, the secret is the cumin and the Mexican oregano. That's what gives it its flavor. And then you just put like some garlic and some onion. You don't need any extra salt or anything like that. You could, I want to say growing up, they probably used garlic salt and garlic uh, and onion salt or whatever. That's what they use. But 
that's how I remember it. And you blend it up and you add just a splash of milk to keep it going. And it's supposed to, it'll turn into this, like at first it looks terrible. It's like Velveeta cheese and yeah, Motel yeah. and all separates. <laughs> but when you keep blending it, it all comes together and it makes this cheesy looking sauce that's never been cooked or melted. And Tyler, didn't you say you think uncooked cheese is supposed to be better for you than like melted I cheese? Think so, yeah, that's what I've heard. I don't know about that. But this like makes a smooth. It makes a smooth probably sauce. <laughs> less grease. <Yeah. laughs> it is Velveeta though, Velveeta. so <laughs> liquid gold. It's, it's not less grease. It's probably primarily <laughs> oil. But it makes this cheese. You know, it makes a great cheese dip. Yeah, you get it the does. consistency you want by adding a splash or two of milk at a time. And it's, I mean, you got to keep it in the refrigerator, and that's the way Poncho's is. You let it sit out and get room temp, and it kind of thins out some. But it's just, it's different. It's different than a queso. It's different than yeah, any it is. nacho sauce or it whatever is. you're thinking. And you can heat poncho. You can heat it. It's just not as good. I don't <laughs> it, think so either. Yeah. It's room temp. And it's, it's the best. And you talk about a football food. I don't know if I've ever, ever went to a tailgate or any kind of a football get together where there wasn't some ponchos Heck yeah. in the South. In, around, in, here. around here. Yeah. yeah. Every single, like we had, I had ponchos. We had the nacho machine. I still set out some ponchos. <laughs> you know, and that, the, the ponchos cheese dip is amazing, but they make this, they call it tropical sauce. And it's like a Mexican vinaigrette. And they put it on everything. Like when you get a poncho special, it had the lettuce and the stuff on the side to put on your tostada. They drizzle that over it or they drizzle it on their tacos. They sell that in the grocery store too. And it is the bomb. It is really good. It's a good taco sauce. It's tangy. It's sweet. It's herby. Um, it's a mustard-based sauce. It's the way I make it. I got to knock off it too. I ain't shared that with nobody. <laughs> That's my secret. But it's kind of a vinaigrette. Sometimes my mom would put a little mayo in it just to give it a little creaminess. But it's oil and vinegar, seasonings, mustard, sugar. It's good. It's really good. So, Their salsa is just okay. I like, agree. Their like, salsa is It's not my favorite salsa. How would you make the white case, though? Just use, like, um, white Velveeta? White, um, actually, I use white American cheese, not Velveeta. Mm-hmm. Because it melts better, and that's what they—that's right. what they use in the Mexican restaurants we go to. Like you can go over to the deli and ask them for a pound of the just—I get private selection white American cheese. Well, I thought it was Lando Lake. No, you can't really if you it's find like you gotta go to Restaurant Depot to get. That's the one that it's like restaurant supply, and it's the best. It melts like but it's pretty much like cheese butter. <laughs> <laughs> no but that's all like it is. All, I mean, it is super simple. Um, but you go get that. Tell them don't slice it. And then when you get home, you cube it up and you melt it. And it makes the best white. It's just like the queso we get at La Siesta. You want to really kick it up, throw some chorizo. Oh, that's what I do to it. Cook some chorizo, melt that cheese with your, I like putting diced chilies, diced jalapenos. You don't need much in it. Season it up a little bit. A little bit of milk if it needs it just to thin it down. And it's It's the easiest thing in the world to make. When you made that um, Poncho's <clears throat> cheese dip, I added, I took a little out and I added some gringo to it and took it to a whole new level. Whole new level of the cream. It's actually, the world's best cheese dip. With, they did it. With the world. They did it. <laughs> <laughs> if Buddy were the elf, were the hell, he would run into Poncho's and say, Congratulations. <laughs> they did it. World's best cheese dip. 